Well, hello, friends. How's it going? This is Jeff playing Ultimate Admiral, Age of Sail, a British campaign. You see, I got over 5,000 prisoners. The game hasn't let me sell them yet. Battle of Camper Down is next. And, of course, with scaling, we're going to go no peril, no glory. Get an extra 30,000 plus 3 rep. Okay, so this is going to be a big one. Huh, boy, let me think of this for a minute. Let's say I put the two fire ships right there. Those guys. Over here. And the transport. That's my whole fleet. Nothing left. Okay, so you have decided to split your fleet into two uneven divisions, each sailing in a loose formation towards the unified Dutch line, the northern or windward Division is aiming for the Dutch flag, ship, whatever, okay. Uh, the southern or the leeward division is headed to the rear of the Dutch line to strike the fourth ship from the end. Yeah, meanwhile they're blasting the heck out of me while I read this. The enemy was intended to close up his lines and solid defense, uh, suddenly a disorganized attack and thrown the Dutch plans into confusion. As a result, the gaps have opened up the, between the enemy's front, center, and rear, causing some of their ships to become greatly outnumbered and unsupported. Yeah, wonderful. All right, let's, let's, let's pause this madness. All right, let's see what these boys have. All right, so it looks like they have two, three, four, one forty-four gunships. Okay, they have four. One, two, three, four, five. No, there's another one over here. Five. And then they have other first-rate ships. And I don't know what this one is. Might be in. I don't know. But yeah, okay. So here's my opportunity to get some 144 gunships, I would imagine. So I got one line there, I got that middle line, and I got this line here. So what would be the best solution here? Well, I don't know. Let's go ahead with uh, Joanne. Yeah, I guess the line just has to keep going, I guess. Um... Yeah, I guess I uh, keep that line going. Where are my fire ships? Over here. Okay, so you you head that way. You head that way. All right, let's just break this. I I can't stand this because. Alright, I don't mean to complain, I'm just, like I said, I don't like the way this ship will go like a couple of knots slower than what these guys go and all that. So, I think we're going to go ahead and use the fire ships and then you guys, you guys head that way. You can go into that one. And the Whitby's going to get over here. And you're going in. Alright. Alright, let's go ahead and, uh, like I said, we're just going to give this a shot and see what happens.
Because we the the lead ship always loses momentum because it's gonna wait for everybody else. That's why I broke it. Yeah, hey, now you guys, um, you guys have got to stop, I, I mean, stop, I, I don't like it when they do that, because see how, see how he puts his, his, um, sails way low, that's why it's better to put these guys on independent sail, because, you know, like I said, um, silly things that happen. So either way, we got to eliminate the enemy fleet, so it doesn't matter how we do it as long as we do that. Now, of course, I don't know if this is going to work, but what I'm going to try to do is going to have this ship drag this one. pause for just a minute there's a lot going on at the very moment <laughs> Yeah, I think I think it would have been better off had I not went in with everybody. I should have I should have stopped some ships, let a few go in and cut them off or something, but that didn't work. So you guys have got to go this way. And this ship's got to get over here to try to get this one. This ship can get over here to try to try to get this one, but I don't know if that'll happen. Meanwhile, Melissa can get over here. And this ship can get over there. And what I would like and this is what I was hoping I was hoping this ship will hit this one and this ship got hurt so this one has to come along this way to try to take out that ship there Gail's got to get over there so Gail would have to get probably over here and I would think Kathy needs to get over here somewhere for now. And Shirley can get over there. I mean, it's just it's just crazy of me having to do this, but I gotta I gotta at least get the ships over here so I can do stuff with them. Now my fire ship.
Oh yeah, so it did work. Okay, good. Yeah, I wanted him to get two, you know. Now see, we're going to lose these guys on the lifeboats, but... Okay, well, there. All right, so the fire ship did might might have got both of those on fire. So I mean, it works. So let's go ahead and try to get this one right here. Oh, there's just way too much going on here. Yeah, see, and you always have to put an anchor on the ship, otherwise it's going to take off. So now i got to get them over here. All right, got to try to get one of these guys here. So let's go ahead and... You're going to have to block right there, and then you're probably going to have to get somewhere over here to get this guy right here. Oh yeah, this is way too much going on right here. We got ships all over the place. Alright. I figure if this ship can get over here, it can try to get this one and he can possibly shoot at this one. If I anchor this ship and he turns around, maybe then I can get him. And now this ship needs to get somewhere over here now. Or maybe it can get over here. I don't know. And the Whitby can now get over there, get closer. Hey, and we actually got a ship. I didn't even know. All right. So now this ship can just get out of here. Oh, and we got one over here I didn't even I wasn't even aware of. Hold on. Trying to get some of these ship, these uh, 
É. Boy, look at all the shots everywhere. Jeez. Now, come on and get this guy right here. What a mess. Oh, and we even got this one I didn't even know. <laughs> Like I can't not pay. There's too much to. It's too much going on in this battle. Like, oh, this is not the way to do it. It's ha I'm having all these firefights all over the place, and I still got this one here. She was getting all the guys from the fire ship. So let's let's get this one somewhere over here to help out. <laughs> oh my goodness! And we got these two over here. Okay, now you you're just gonna get out of the battle. You were trying to turn around and you just turn over here so he can get out of the way. I mean, and that means you can get over there too. Oh man, what a battle. My goodness. What can I do about this? Oh my goodness, what a battle. Uh, killed in action. Oh boy. Oh boy, what do we got over here? All right, look. Okay, so now you are going to put a block on to him. And you, you're just trying to get out of here. And as soon as you get over there, this ship might be able to then get over going that way. My goodness, what am I going to do? Now, Shirley, can you get up over here too?
Well, I know there's a lot going on in the battle, but I gotta try to get one of these ships. These 144 gun ships. All right, let's pause for a minute because I think we're, we're at least, we'll have to watch this to make sure we don't lose, but we can drop people out here if we have to. And this ship is blocking him, so that'll be okay. Now this ship can just get on out of here as far as I'm concerned, and so can this one. Now, I got to try to concentrate on what's going on over here too so let's go ahead and tell him to get this ship this ship needs to get over here to get this ship and these two are screwing up so you get over there and you just get over here Oh, there's a ship right here, too. Jeez. All right, now. Oh, and there's another one right there. Oh. What am I doing? Okay, man. Oh, I think he's probably trying to get these guys, but, yeah, okay, so I can't, I can't cut straight on all this. Okay, look. You're going to have to get right about here. You're probably going to have to get over here, I think. Matter of fact, the Whitby can just, um, drop out a couple of units. Yeah, this is going to turn out ugly, I'll tell you that. Oi, what a mess. Alright, so we got finally got one. Oh man, what a mess. This has turned into be a really a messy battle, I'll tell you that. Well, I have to make I might have to take a chance. Alright, I'm just checking out the battlefield for a moment. Okay, now you guys have got to get over here. Come on.
Ay. Man. Oh, man, this is stuff to concentrate on. I'm sorry, folks. The ships are going in such ways that I can't, like, quite deal with it, you know? Like, man. That's why I have to kind of put anchors on the ships to stop them from going because you need I need to concentrate on each one and it's so difficult Yeah, I can't even concentrate on this. Like, man, this is so difficult. Wait. Well, if these marines can get over here, it'll be a big help. Hey, his own ship uh, demasked his own ship. Yeah, look, and 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 again, he shot at me, and he just demasked his own ship. See how the enemy goes after the sails, like or the the mass. Oi, let's just pause for a minute. Oh. All right, the Marines got on, so that's good. Those two Marine units got on the ship. Otherwise, I might have lost it. Well, the whip, we don't need it, so let's get the other one off.
All right, phew, I'm telling you, uh, the battle's winding down, I think, but like I said, you see how weird this was, right? I mean, I, oh yeah, it looks like I'll get that one. This one, well, I don't know, and then we got this one right over here, so let's, let's tell these guys to get over there. Oh, and we still got this guy over here. But I'm trying to punch these guys through the line, so let's see if we can do that. And like I said, these guys are trying to get away too. Less ships on the sea for me to worry about, you know what I mean? So... It's just a matter of trying to take this guy out, and this one should take that one. Okay. Okay, somebody surrendered. Okay, right here. Yeah, he's probably going to try to go after those ships over there. Hey, this guy surrendered. Where's that other ship? Where's that other enemy ship? Oh, he's over here. Let's see if I can get uh, Joanne somewhere over here. Victory. Sharon over here. Well, this is going to be probably overkill to have Maria and uh, Rachel uh, take this one out, but we might as well take him out. Right. 
Okay, so this one surrendered. We didn't even, like, I thought we were going to board, but I, you know, whatever. Okay, so Maria. Oh, I have so many ships. Man. Killed in action. Just take the ship over. You just anchor. There was 400 on this ship. Ah, second rate. Alright, so we can have those ships get going. Now, who do we have left? Where's the other enemy ship? Oh, he's over here. Ah, oh, the wind is changing. The wind is changing. So now we have to see what this guy does due to the wind change. He's the last one, man. Dang. We're just getting ships out of here, so... All right, well, we're going awful fast. All right, this is it right here. Hey, hey, hey. Anchor, 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 anchor. Okay, so now, come on. There we go. Anchor. Oh, I didn't get to put anybody on. I would have had some prisoners. Darn it. Oh, well. Oh, I think it's because I had it on fast speed. I should have had it on regular speed. Then I would have been able to put somebody on. I would have captured another few hundred prisoners. But, oh, well. It's okay. So, if you look at this here, it looks like a fairly even fight, I guess. But... But I think, like I said, I might have sunk a few ships where... I'd well, it says three sunk. Two sunk for me. I had those two fire ships. It says three sunk. So I know I set four on fire, but, but 
one of those ships must have put it out. So that's good because that just means I end up capturing it, right? So the golds. Yeah, look at all these ships. Okay, so it looks like I got one 44-gun ship captured. Another one. And another one. And another one. Ooh, it looks like I got four. Oh, that, that'll be cool. All right, well, anyways... uh. Yeah, we lost some officers and stuff, but that's the way it goes. Alright, so I have uh, one, two, three, four. Five! Oh, so I, I hey, I, I ended up capturing the five, f four, uh, f yeah, wow. The 144, I, I captured five 144 gun ships. Like I captured all five. I I thought I, I thought oh well I thought I set one I did set one on fire but he must have put it out. This is awesome. Okay, whoa, better than what I thought. Like I didn't think I'd get them all. So yeah, all right. Whoa, hey man, what the heck, right? I'm mean, sorry if I was complaining in it. It's just because of the way it go this battle is. I mean it's. Uh, see, the way I like battles is to have only a couple of ships fighting and have the rest sitting back and then fight the second group or something. But this one here, we just had to go right into it. So, yeah, we're going we're gonna to do some repairs. All right. All right, so we we definitely don't want the 90 gun ships. And we don't want the 112s. But we do want the 144s. So, okay, so let's see. Which one is the best? Hey, this one's really good. No damage. All right, so that's one. Oh, this one's hardly damaged, too. So we have two. Uh, this one's really damaged. This one's less. All right, so I'm getting low on rep. Okay, so I got four out of the five. And I actually have enough to get the last one, but it's going to be... But look, he lost mass. It's going to be very expensive. I'm wondering if I should do it. Because right now we just have these to do. Yeah, one career point, that reputation, the money. Oh yeah, I am going to put one more point right here to max out the Admiralty and hopefully they'll give me a 50% assortment. So that's where that point will go. So now what I want to do, you know, I, I'm going to go ahead, 
I'm going to go ahead and add this. Now look at this. Now this is what I told you. When you lose a mass, it's 17,000 to replace. I mean, we had to play for some planking too, but I mean, a mass is big time. But now I only have four rep. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm just going to max out my ships for a moment. Because we still have rep right here. Oh, we lost an officer. Not enough weapons. Lost an officer there. I lost an officer right there. I lost an officer right there. And another officer right here. And the Whippy uh, Marines survived. Okay, so the other thing that I can do is, let me just take a look at this for a minute. I guess we can use the ships that we topped off. We didn't top them all off, so let's go ahead and top them all off. This way I know I can spend the money and, and I have them all, we'll have them all topped off. So I'm going to take one last look at them real quick. Okay, so that cost a heck of a lot of money. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do these here. All right, so we got 100%, 100%, and 100%. We're going to go to the next stage. Oh, boy, this is challenging. Um, I don't need the, I don't know if I, I don't think I need the rep at this moment because I, I earned some rep. So I think I might take the money for 10,000 uh, prisoners. Gives me 52,000. So we did get money in rep. We did get money in rep. And we did get money in rep. And after the British destroyed parts of the Danish fleet in the Battle of Copenhagen and forced it to withdraw from the League, the accession of Alexander I and a change in the Russian priorities, priorities excuse me, resulted in the Second League of Armed Neutrality uh, falling apart. So we can end chapter, um, or 
I'm just, you know what I'm going to do? I'm, I'm just going to save right here for just a moment. Um, I'm just going to save because I, 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 I might uh, continue the video and do some other stuff. Uh, like before it changes. Now, what do we got right here? Oh, 10, minus 10, or oh, plus 10 percent to ship repair. Minus 5 percent weapons cost. Okay. Because what I want to do is I want to go to these ships here and I'm going to take off the guns. Oh, and we do need repairs though, so we'll have to we'll have to do that. Oh, and we lost the captain. That's not good. All right, let's again take a look at our ships. Let's top them off. Yeah, I just don't have a lot of the guns. I didn't buy the tech for them, I guess. Um, just going to go with what I have, I guess. All right, so now what I'm going to show you is I'm going to um, I'm going to kind of class out of my other uh, ships, and I'm going to try to get these 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 ones up and running. So I guess I can go to uh, 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 Rachel. I think I'll drop her down to minimal for now. All right, so Rachel. I take the officers off Rachel. All Okay, so I basically put the officers that I took off of Rachel onto here. And I'm just going to go to optim optimal for now. Okay, so Rachel has officers and troops. Um, she doesn't have anything over here, though. And 
And so what I'm going to do is go over to Shirley. I'm going to take her officers off. I'm going to go over to this ship here. And I'll put her officers here. She doesn't have the better officers, but still have some pretty good stats. Okay, so now uh, she again now has officers and a crew. And we'll do the same thing to Kathy. All right, so now uh, Kathy is, you know, slightly up and running. We don't have guns yet, but but this is this is I'm just uh, the reason I'm this video is going to be long and it's and I'm showing you this harbor stuff is I just like to show it. So I mean, I'm showing how I upgrade my ships. Matter of fact, I'll, I'll do this one too while I'm here. All right, so we have Gail and we have Rhonda. Oh, we got a lot of these now. Okay, and last but not least,
All right, well, um, Okay, so now I'm going to come over here to these ships and I'm going to uh, take off these guns. Okay, so I have these five uh, first-rate uh, victory class ships. Uh, got the guns off them. And now let's go to... Oh, well, wait. You know what I'm going to do, though? I'm going to go to my my Joanne here. And I want to get rid of these uh, Armstrongs. And I want to see what we got that we can put on here. Yeah, see, I'm, it's very disappointing uh, that these guns, you know, are not getting up to the number that I need to put on here. I mean, I got this maxed out right here. And it's not really, you know, giving me the choice, so let's go to this one. Let's go down here and see what is it that we can put down here to at least get these ships up and running. Well, I can put these in. I probably should keep the 24s for down in this slot here. So let's see if I can put the 18 right there. And maybe I could put the 9 right there. And I could put the 6 right there. Okay, so without putting the upgrades on the ships, um, so basically this ship is up and running now. So now let's go to this one right here. Now over here, the biggest gun I can put there for now, I think was the, was it the 8? No, it was the 24. Yeah, I just don't like these guns. They're heavy. So I'll put the 24 there. Now I'll only be able to do this one more time. Um, and I might only be able to do this one one more time. So let me go up to the 9. Maybe I'll go with the 12 there. And I'll go with the six. All right, so I have two up, up and running without, without upgrades. Now again, what can I put down there? Um, all right, so I guess it'll be the 24. I think the 18 I'll only be able to do one more time. So I'll go with the 9, the 12,
Uh, we'll go with the six. All right, so that gets that ship up and running. Okay, so again, down here. Yeah, you see, because these, you can see that these are all the guns that I like, because there's not many of them anymore. All right, so I'm going to go with the 18 right there. Well, then I'm just down to Rhonda. Oh, man. Well, I guess I'll try that. Yeah, I don't know if I should, uh... I guess I could try this, but, you know, I'm not used to using these guns, but... That would at least get these ships up and running, I guess. Um... And now, can I get some upgrades? So now I'm going to try to recoup money from these ships. So I recoup 39,000. Another 39,000. Another 39,000. Okay. Uh-oh, so we are overloaded. And I think it's because of these right here, or these. Okay, well, I can get the boarding kit.
Okay, so I can I can do it this way then for now. So now Rachel is totally up and running. Now surely All right, well, like I said, let me think about this for just a minute. Like, suppose I buy some rookies. So I give up a little XP. Now, she's got the 24, the 9, the 12, and the 6. So let's see what upgrades we can get on the ship with a max crew. I like an aerodynamic sail. Oh, I can't quite get that. I just can't... Uh... Well, it's okay. She just won't have it. Alright, so I give up some XP. And then I max it out. Now, can I get fire control? Uh, nope. Darn. Darn it. Okay, um... And it's because I got some of these, like I said, I, I know... I'm gonna have to work on that, like I can't do it right now, so I, I'm just gonna go with the four upgrades that I normally do. I just won't get that fifth upgrade. Again, it's costing 87000 Oh, but we didn't max out the crew yet. I only like doing this to get it maxed so I can see what it is that I can put for upgrades with these particular guns. So I'm going to try, even though it's going to cost a lot of money, I'm going to try to put fire control on. No, I cannot do it. Oh, because wait! I could do it by weight, I just don't have the money. Okay. So, four out of the five ships, I was able to at least give them four upgrades to the ships and max them out on, um, and max them on, uh, personnel. So, Okay, so then what I can do is then um, I can sell some of these ships to make the money. But what I think I should do right now is 
Because I, I have... How much am I going to lose? Alright, because I got to go to the... I got to end the chapter anyways, right? So we can see what's upcoming. So let's... I've done enough, so let's go ahead and end the chapter. Napoleon is preparing for an invasion of England. He has assessed a large number of transports and massive army. The only thing stopping him is our fleet to deal with the Royal Navy. The French and Spanish have been amassed, amassing a, an armada. In Napoleon's armies are able to cross the channel England will fill. Okay. Um, Admiral expects to get Yep. So see now, right here, at, they're going to give us Britannia, a second-rate ship. They don't give us any other choice. So, and I'm minus money too now. So I'm in a dilemma. So again, I am going to go ahead and save. Standing out among the bleak news of one disaster after another, Jeffrey Morris has continued to be the best performing officer in the Royal Navy. Surely with him in command of the Channel uh, fleets, the French will never make it across or whatever, something like that. Minus 20% ship repair, minus 20 ship costs, minus 20% weapon costs. And we my choice well it really wasn't my choice they didn't give me a, an alternative okay so this is the last land battle and the rest of the way is probably eight to ten ships is all we really need So I think actually, I clearly don't need these ships, right? So yeah, I, I, I think what I got to do is um, I'll just show you something here because um, I got to end this video it's it's a very long video but I've done a lot of harbor stuff so for anybody who likes watching harbor at least you'll see some of the things that I do in the game all right now do you see how these stats all bumped up by putting these officers here so now I'm just going to drop them out and put them up here and I'm going to take these guys off. And I'm going to just call this one uh, 1. And I'm basically going to just keep doing the same thing. By putting the officers on the ship, the stats are going up. And then I'm going to throw them into the pool. Oh yeah, and then this one...
Okay, so now I just gotta do one more. <laughs> and by putting the same good officers in, I get better stats, so. And just bump them to, so now I got 1200 with pretty good stats, 198, 96, 100, 98, and 100. That's 1200 guys. Okay, so as you can see, um, I, I labeled them in such a way that I can easily sell them. So basically, I'm going to sell all these Victory class ships that I converted into 144 gun ships. And that will uh, get me out of the hole, because I'm in a hole at the moment. All right, so we're going to get we're going to get 26,000. I'm still in a hole. All right, now now I'm out of the hole. All right, so that got me out of the hole, and now I got a hundred thousand. So the next battle, and then uh, Duck Hutton, but the next battle, we just need five uh, ships. One, two, three, four, five. This is the last land battle. So this will be the last time that I use the Whitby. And the crew, I only have about 125, so that means I could probably add a few more guys. Get the 250. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're close. I'll just leave it like that. So we can go in with um, one transport. And I actually have everybody all maxed out anyway, right? And, and these guys. Except this one. Oh yeah, because I didn't have enough money. So, all right, let me go to. Oh yeah, and did I, did I sell all the weapons again? Okay, so we're gonna sell these. All right, that gives me a, a bunch of money again. So I think Ronda is the last one where I need to uh, do something with. So let's max her out. And let's see if we can put upgrades on her. And the, and the last one that I do when I can do it is the fire control. And look, with these particular guns, they're lighter. I can get all five on here. And it costs me 100000 
All right. Well, I want to tell you, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it right here. Like I got, I got the five ships. I mean, all my ships, all my ships are maxed out pretty much and stuff like that. So basically in this whole video, basically what I showed you was how I convert my first rate victory class ships. I still have a couple into into the 144 gunships and then I still have these guys here that have really good stats um the Britannia that they gave me I mean I don't need this ship I mean if anything I could make it a fire ship I mean um but they give you this ship because they don't know at what progress you're making in the campaign so that's why at certain stages in the campaign, they give you stuff. So, you know what I mean? But you you, you just seen how I just converted um, 144 gunships from, from first rate ships. You know what I mean? So, so I can tell you, um, I, I'll, just, I'll leave this for now, even though it's costing me money. Um, but I, I, you know, what, what can I say? I'm gonna get rid of the transport anyways after this battle. So we will go ahead and save one more time. And this just means I'm ready for this land battle that will be coming up. So, anyways, I apologize if this is way too long and stuff, but. I don't mind showing people what I do in the game and uh, you know what I'm saying like you can tell me if you think what I did was good or, or bad or, or or did I manage the money right did I manage the upgrades correctly or whatever but anyways um, it's long you have your choice of skipping through whatever it is that you want to see so if you like the harbor stuff I think I gave you quite a bit of stuff that I do in the harbor so Anyways, no matter where you are in the world, I hope you're having a great day or a great afternoon or a great evening. Take care of yourself, be kind to each other, and spread the, the wellness and, and niceness to everybody so everybody feels good and treats you good. God bless to you in your own religion. This is your friend Jeff signing out. Adios amigo and of course the lovely amigas.